Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Mad Destroyer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. I am going to become a thinking ear, okay? We're going to talk to Adam here. Adam invented something years ago. Come on in, Adam. Hi. Uh, it was so clever. It was uh, okay to wake? Yes, it was a, a line of uh, clocks and night lights that taught kids how to wake up, that t taught kids when it was okay to get out of bed in the morning. So it's, it solved the pain point for parents that were having young toddlers run into their bedroom in, in, in the middle of the night. Okay, so now he has something else for kids, and it's called Marbleosity? Yes, the line's called Marbleosity, and the company's called Tinkineer, and it's a line of stem maker kits made out of laser-cut wood. And they build up into these uh, beautiful marble machine contraptions that uh, teach physics and engineering concepts along the way. Oh, you know what, uh, Adam, let's go stand behind it, and then I'm going to have you give us a little demonstration of how it actually works. So this guy is the, what kit is this? This kit is called the Dragon Coaster, so it's one of our large kits. It's a flagship model, and uh, it takes about five hours to build. It's designed to be done in five one-hour sit-downs, uh, geared for kids age 12 plus. Might be a fun thing to do with a slightly younger child with a parent. And when it's all done, it functionally operates, and it uh, we've we're communicating a lesson about uh, conservation of energy, kinetic and potential energy, uh, and it's manifested in the creation of this uh, wood model that you build from literally flat pack pieces that you see in front of you. And uh, have we cut the wood, or is the wood in the kit already pre-cut? Yeah, so the wood is, is pre-cut using a laser cutter, which is what gives it this nice char two-tone look, and the, the, the pieces come all ready to go, and all you need is regular white Elmer's glue to assemble the project. Okay, and uh, someone told me there's, there's a way to connect kits. What is that? Yeah, so the larger mod m models are modular, and what happens is that there's a diverter gate here that you can see uh, is not glued down. So any one kit will operate on its own. When the gate is facing in this direction, the marbles recirculate. If you have more than one kit, you turn the gate around, and then the adjacent kit aligns, and you can see how the marble will enter the what is called the skate park. Our second module is a skate park theme. D does its thing over here. We've got lessons in this kit about uh, projectile motion and centripetal force. And then the marbles return back through the rear of the model into the first model. And you get this recirculation. And we have in the works a third and a fourth module. And you'll ultimately build this marble universe that you construct yourself. Can you run it again? Well, can you run it so the marble goes into the other kit? I can, unfortunately, because the skate park kit is not quite complete yet. So this is just a prototype at the moment. The skate park kit is not complete yet. I mean, you come to Toy Fair to have your heart broken. Is this fair? That's right. Uh, oh, okay. That's right. So, uh, the price of the kits? Price of the kits is thirty. Uh, excuse me, thirty dollars for the mini kit. So we have a mini coaster. Oh, yeah, hold, hold the mini. Oh, Dennis is getting back. Yeah, yeah. So these are actually uh, taped to the floor. Let me show you how it works. The the mini kits are uh, sort of a shorter one. You know, sixty to ninety minute build, and uh, they're designed to be you know single sit down. You can do this in a sitting. We have a we have a mini coaster as well. So so there's a there's a, a large and a small for each theme. The smaller kits are thirty dollars retail, and the larger kits are fifty dollars retail. That is really I, I like this a lot. And your website you have a website, I yeah, assume. We have and a website at uh, www.tinkineer.com. T-i-n-k-i-n-e-e-r.com. This is really great. Oh, what what was what is this big thing over here? So in let's go out here. <laughs> we have to see this. In advance of the Toy Fair, we had the idea to develop uh, a large-scale model. So this is actually the exact, it's an exact replica of the mini coaster that we were just talking about. And we scaled it up to run, uh, these are actually snooker balls, which is like a British game, sort of like billiards. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we, we had to tweak uh, uh, some things to make the, the physics just right, but it's basically the same kit that you can buy for $30, just much bigger. Oh, that, that is really great. So Tinkineer, and I'm, I'm not sure uh, if I should say this, but Adam told me that so that kids really learn about being in real life, there's going to be a toll booth so that you'll actually have to pay money to go from one kit to the other. It's just a rumor, could be true or not. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Mattis, Dreider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.biz. And uh, Adam is showing you what the book looks like. Yeah, so the book 
teaches the physics lessons through the through these characters that we've that we've developed called the Tinkineers. And it, so the, the roller coaster kit, which we call the Dragon Coaster, tells a story. And in it, we've we've weaved a basic lesson about conservation of energy, uh, kinetic and potential energy. And when you're done reading the story, you segue right into the assembly instructions. We've carried the characters through to make it you know really friendly and accessible uh, to show kids that it's not difficult to construct something that looks so complex. Okay. Uh, so there you have another lesson, kids, is that you should start with the instruction book and not have it at the end of the video and then sign off and have to go back to the start of the video. But we're just here to look at toys, not TV production. Okay, bye.